So most voting systems are used to have one vote for one person, but that doesn't always happen in every single voting system you have. A weighted voting system is a system where each voter has a different weight and can basically can think of it as controlling a different number of votes than other voters. An example of this is um, board of directors for companies. The shareholders um, have weight based on how many shares they own. Um, the UN, similar thing happens where um, certain vote, certain state countries have more power or more weight than other countries. So there are different places where we see a weighted voting system happening. And we kind of want to look at what that, what that, how we analyze that. So we are only going to be looking at yes and no votes. So we're not going to be doing a um, preference ballot here. This is where you have voters have different things. So again, we can see this in individuals, corporations, countries, states, agencies, lots of these different examples. These are called the players. Because they can be all these different things, we usually denote them by maybe player one, player two, player three, all the way through player n, however many players you have. And then each player has a certain number of votes that they control. And that's what we call the weights. So player one has a weight one. Player two has a weight of two. Player three, weight three, and so forth, all the way through player n. Now to make something vote, since it is just yes and no votes, then you have to have a minimum number of votes to pass something. Um, the quota has to be more than 50%. So you can't have something pass if only 5% of the people want something. You have to have at least 50% of the people voting for something. And you can't have it be more than 100% because you can't say we need five, five, 50 votes for this to happen, but there's only 30 votes out there. So you have to either have your quota has to be between 50% and 100%. And again, this is your minimum number of votes required to pass a motion. As an example, um, in, this, in our um, US Congress, um, you need 50, more than 50% to pass anything. Um, however, if you're trying to overdo a veto from a president, then you need a two-thirds majority. So you need more than 50%, you need two-thirds to vote to make something passed over right over veto. So that's kind of an example of where you see different quotas. So I want to look at what does a weighted voting system actually look like. Um, a weighted voting system has, let's say, n players. So what you can do is instead of having a list of the players, you know that they're going to be in a list of players. So we always start off with a bracket, the quota, to tell people, hey, we need this many votes to pass something. And then a colon to kind of separate the quota from the weights. And then you list the weights for each player separated by a comma for however many there are. And um, so I don't, this isn't actually true. You don't have to have them in any kind of neat order. It's kind of nice usually to have them in a nice order where you start with the highest weight first and work your way down. You don't have to. If you don't do that, it's okay. But it is nice to actually have it listed in that order. So as an example, in the U U European Union, um, you need 62 votes to pass something. And then one country controls 10 votes, another one controls 10, third one 10, fourth one 10, but the fifth one only controls eight. So you notice how these numbers are going downward. It's not a necessity, but it's a nice thing to have. Um, the total number of players in this case, there are 15 numbers here. So there are 15 players. In this case, with the European Union, that would be 15 countries. Um, the total number of votes, if I would add all of these numbers up, I would get 87 votes. So notice that my, um, I need 87 votes, my quota is 62. And half of 87 is not 62. 62 is more than that. So you need more than 50% to have something pass. Um, the weight, let's say we want to do a weight of one of the players, let's say player six, and you just go one, two, three, four, five, six, and that player controls five votes. Um, the quota again is the minimum number of votes you need to pass something. You need 62 votes to pass anything. Um, again, um, 62 over, 80, over 87, so there's 87 votes. So to find out what percent you actually need, you can take your 62 votes, your quota, 
divide by 87 to find out that you need a 72% of the votes. Um, and if you do um, 87, the total number of votes times 0.71, it gets you 61.77 votes, but you actually need 62 votes because you can't have a fraction of a vote. Somebody can't vote one way for part of their votes and another way for other votes. So here's another example of a weighted voting system. Um, you have your quota here, six for the first player, four, three, three, two, two. Um, so there are six players. And if you add these up, you get a total of 20 votes. So the question might be, what's the smallest number that Q can be? All right, so if we want to find out what the smallest number Q can be is, we know that we have 20 votes, so Q could be 20 divided by 2, which is 10. Um, that would be 50%, but you need to move more than 50%, so you actually need 11 votes. The largest value Q could be, Q could be is to have all the voters. So everybody would have to vote for it, so you'd have to have 20 votes. Um, let's say Q is 3 fourths of a vote. Then you do 3 fourths of 20, which is 15, and that would make it pass. All right, another concept is something called a dictator. Um, a dictator is any player whose weight is greater than or equal to the quota. In other words, that player has all has enough votes to pass something without anybody else. So if you need a quota of, let's say, five, and your, quote, your dictator has seven votes, then they can make anything pass without anybody else voting for it. If everybody else is against it, but that person says it's going to happen, it will happen. Um, there are such things as called dummies. Um, you don't need a dictator to have dummies. There can be dummies without a dictator. But if you have a dictator, you will have dummies. But dummies also come from other places. And a dummy is anyone who has no say in the outcome. So in other words, that person has no way to actually make something pass. No matter what they do, them voting for it or not voting for it will not make it pass. So then an example, here we have um, four people in this, four players in this weighted voting system. If I add these up, I get a total of um, 15 votes. Half of 15 is 7.5, which means I need a quota of at least eight and maximum 15. So it's a valid voting system. But looking at this, this player eight, this player one, can make anything pass without everybody else. If that person votes for it, things will pass. If that person doesn't vote for it, things won't pass. Then we also have something called a vote out, a veto power. A veto power is a motion can cannot be passed without this player being involved. So in this weighted voting system, um, we have a quota of nine. And if I look at this, player one has eight votes. So player one's not a dictator because their quota is less than nine. But if player one doesn't vote for it, the other three can't make it pass. Two plus four is six, plus one is seven. That's not enough votes to make something pass. They need player one. So player one has veto power. Um, the other players, all together could vote and not make something pass, but we're not going to look at those kind of things that can happen. But player one would need somebody else to make something pass, but they can stop anything from passing. So they have veto power. All right, and another example is this weighted voting system. The quota is 12. Player one has eight. Player two has four. Player three has two. And player one has one. Looking at this, if player one doesn't pass, doesn't vote for something, these two together can't make it pass. If so, player one has veto power. If player two doesn't vote for it, player one with their eight plus the two is 10 plus one is only 11, so it will not pass without player two. So player two also has veto power. Player one and two together make it 12, so they can make anything, they can make something passed if they're together. Um, player two being added on isn't going to change anything. Player three adding on isn't going to change anything. And player one plus player two plus player three doesn't make anything pass. So player two and three have no power to make things pass or not pass. 
So they are what we call dummies. Notice again, we don't have a dictator in this one, but we do still have dummies. Um, just because somebody has low number of points doesn't mean they're a dummy either. In this case, with the weight of 15, sorry, the quota of 15, and each of these weights, because the quota is 15, all the four players must vote for something to make sure it passes. So in this case, all of the players have veto power. So that can also happen. Any one of them doesn't vote, the thing doesn't pass.